It has been a chilly and breezy Sunday, especially along the shore. Hold on to your hats there. But luckily, Lauren, we're going to get back to some actual spring-like weather soon. Dare I say, maybe even summer-like feels. Absolutely. Yes, we're going to get a nice taste of summer, Joe, as we head into the upcoming week. Dramatically improving conditions as we draw conditions out and warm conditions up each day of the work week. But we're already warmer as our coastal low starts to slowly pull away. Temperatures over the last 24 hours warming up pretty significantly. We're up 10 degrees from this time yesterday in Philly, up 15 in Redding, 14 in Mount Pocono, and up two. We'll take it in Wildwood. Storm Scan 3 showing us the bulk of the moisture with our coastal system is now offshore, although a few showers trying to sneak their way in, but again, very light in intensity. But you are seeing some light rain again across Ocean County, also portions of Cumberland County, seeing a little bit of light rain moving through as well. Well, we couldn't shake the winds today, especially along the coast, not quite as dramatic as yesterday, but still had wind gusts to 50 miles per hour in AC, 44 in Wildwood gusting to 33, or peak gusts in Philly today. For most of us, the winds are winding down, getting a break from the breeze, but still pretty hardy along the coast with that coastal low still sitting offshore, driving in that northeasterly component to the wind flow. And that, of course, did, could still contribute to some coastal flooding, especially on those vulnerable roads. If you know them, avoid them, especially at high tide time. Our coastal flood advisory is in effect for the Jersey Coast and Delaware Bay until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Morning. But for tonight, some breaks in the clouds. It is going to be chilly and below average down to 43 degrees. Still a little bit breezy at times. And we hold on to the breeze tomorrow, but again, dialing down the wind speeds. High temperatures run about 10 degrees below our average, but we will be up to 64 under a partly cloudy sky and dry conditions in the forecast. And in your hour by hour forecast, seeing a lot of sunshine that we missed all weekend long. Again, there's that cool start at 8 a.m., 48 degrees, but probably can shed that jacket as we head into the afternoon with those temperatures lingering in the mid 60s. So looking ahead to a week from now, something cool to check out in the sky next Sunday night, early Monday morning, we will have a view of a total lunar eclipse all across the region. This will be visible. The eclipse begins at 1028 Sunday evening, maximum eclipse where the moon is engulfed by the Earth's shadow and takes on that reddish copper shoe that will occur around midnight. And then by 2 a.m., the eclipse comes to an end. But put that in your phone calendar because that's going to be something cool to check out. Also cool, our seven day forecast in that we're warming up 72 by Wednesday. We're up into the 80s by Friday. Not a raindrop in that forecast, Joe, until potentially next weekend. Very nice. We'll take it, Lauren. Thank you so much.